Herman Vandenberg and I play guitar. For some reason I like just fell in love with blues and I mean my parents couldn't really explain why. I just you know the music was there, my dad had a jukebox and stuff like that, and then I just zoned into blues and it's always been like Albert Collins, Albert King, well, all the kings, Buddy Guy, Muddy Waters, all of them. And yeah, that was my first big influence. I started with the violin when I was five. Um, but then I kept on doing that. So it just changed into this. <laughs> Classical music is it's not something that I consciously put into my playing, but it just, I think subconsciously it's always there. And it's, I love listening to it, so it's, it'll come out in some way, shape or form into my playing. The main thing is you know, being able to plug into an amp and being happy with that sound. This is decorations. It's like, you know, when, you want to find a new sound or do something like that. But as far as a guitarist, I think you should always just be happy to, or be able to play just by plugging in. Blacks are, are really good to us. They always um, help us out with amps and everything. Reverb, let's start with that since we're here at Reverb. This one just makes a bunch of noise. This is for a song called Beautiful is Boring. I only use it on that song because it does this. Um, so it's just an effect. Delay, kind of always had a, not trusted digital stuff. When it comes to delays, it's so much easier. There's one song that you have, we do, I have to keep it slow like that. And then, the chorus is like that. Quick. But if you trip and you've had a bit too many beers, it's really hard. Filippo, who produces bones and everything here, we record guitars and when a riff needs to be really big, we stack up different octaves. You just play it an octave higher and then keep the low octave on that. And it makes the riff so much better. This is new, I mean, I'm trying it out. I stole that from Jeff. He uses the Archer, the silver one. I saw it, got really jealous, and asked if I could have one as well. So technically it wasn't theft, but it was asking permission to have one for free. <laughs> it's like every day was a free lesson. You know, just watch him. He plays constantly on the guitar, like seven or eight hours a day. I mean, he'll be playing guitar even when he's making breakfast. What I learned from him is just the way he... Never use a whammy though, because he can do it better than anybody else. <laughs> so there's no point in trying, even attempting that. We met at a party, that's what, that was it. And then he came to see Bones, and then he asked Rosie and I to write the album with him. So, you know, it was, it started off as a collaboration. I didn't know I was gonna go on the road with him. That was like, like oh, we've, we've written this. Do you wanna come on tour? And I was like, shit, now I've gotta learn all your songs. He's a great man and he gives opportunities to young people as well. Like he, um, I don't know many people that do that. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing to watch. And just, I always had to um, remind myself to play when I'm on stage with him, because sometimes you just stare at him doing something amazing and I'd forget to do my own part. One of my favorite quotes, I think, was from B.B. King is, we're not thieves, we're all borrowers. I hate jealous guitarists. It's always about, I like your lick. Let, let, let me play it, learn it, and I'll make it my own. But, you know, 
please, have have all my legs. Okay. I you sh people should be flattered when somebody says, "Oh, I like that." If somebody copies something I did, I'd be like, "That's sick." With Jeff and stuff like that, I'll be using a Strat, and with Bones, I'd always be playing a telly, just because that's the sound that we need. Well, the Strat's always good for. It's, it's versatile, so it can do anything. You can have the harsh sound and you can have the sweet sound. This is much warmer. It's, you know, like in a studio and stuff like that, it's versatile to do so many different things. Telly is a telly. It's like a punch in the face. It's got, it's got its sound, hasn't it? So most of it's 63, but it got reassembled in 84, so it's an 84 ratio of 63. But some bits are. I mean, it's probably got a longer story than that, but I'm just gonna let it be. I'm not gonna sell it, so I don't really need to know. <laughs>